Hi everyone, my name is Patricia. I'm with All Things Taught Silhouette and Cameo. I also have a silhouette class for beginners. I also have another Facebook group um, called Digital Files Mania where I sell my um, digital files. I have my Etsy shop. Please visit the Etsy shop. Um, today I'll be teaching you today I'll be teaching you how to create um, a knockout design. I know a lot of you have asked me about uh, the knockout design. A lot of you have asked me about the knockout design. So today I'll be teaching you how to create a knockout design. Um, I've already grabbed uh, Barbie from from the Google images. So now I'm going to go through and I'm going to trace her. In order to do that, you have to go to the trace panel. And then I'll just click trace. I'll bring her over there and then I'll change the color to black. And with this, um, with this, I'll be showing you different um two ways how on how to create a knockout. Um a knockout. Some people do it differently, but I want to show you both ways on how to create that. I'm going to place her to the side. Now I'm going to go to my fonts and I'm, I guess I'll say something like I love Barbie because she is so B E A U T I F U L beautiful and kind to everyone E V E R Y O N E okay we're going to change the font we want to use impact because that's the font that's used um, primarily when we're doing stuff like this. You need something that is a larger type font. I love Barbie because she is so beautiful. I'm going to take the ears and bring it up and then space and bring that back down. And actually I'm going to bring this over and I want it to be in the middle I also want um, I also want to change the spacing and to do that you go to your line spacing here you're going to press on the A and I'm going to go to the line spacing and I'm going to press the arrow button to bring everything a little bit closer as you can see everything has uh, shifted a little bit closer to each other now I'm going to change the color and we're going to go with the color red we're gonna go with the color red because she's already um, she's already black. So we're gonna go with the color red. And now I'm gonna bring her to the front, bring to front, decrease her size, go up a little bit bigger, and then I think I want to align them both. I want to align them, so I'm gonna go back. Uh, so that I can oh so that I can align it to the center and as you can see it's aligned to the center I bring this down and now I'm going to increase the size so you can see it so you can see it um, a little bit better so now the size is increased we want to make sure that we have her eyes and that is that is very important so now we have her eyes her tail is missing just a little bit, just slightly, but that's okay. And we have our mouth. As long as we have this portion, you want to be able to have that portion. Now I'm going to um, take everything and I'm going to du duplicate. And I'm actually going to duplicate three times. And that's because I want to show you both ways. So I'm doing um, the duplication twice. I'm duplicating twice. I got to go back out just a little bit so so that I can see what I'm doing. So in order to start, we're going to bring them both together. We're going to bring them both together. And now I'm going to go to my modify panel, which I'm going to open the modify panel. Once I've opened the modify panel, now I'm going to crop. 
she's been cropped and as you can see she's in the shape of Barbie so once that has happened now we're gonna group her we're gonna place her to the side I'm going to bring let's bring the window back to to where it was so that I can see now I'm gonna grab this one and I'm gonna do the same thing here with this one except instead of cropping it instead of me cropping it I'm going to subtract once I subtract you want to group and once it's group you want to bring her back in and as you can see she's lined up she's lined up pretty perfect you can see she's lined up you check your corners and she's lined up perfect that is one way to create um, the knockout design. Now I'm going to show you a second way to create the knockout design. I'm going to take this one, move it to the side, and then once I'm finished with the second one, that's when I'm going to um, that's when I'm going to sh put them side by side, and then you can choose whichever one you want to create. I'm going to du duplicate this one she's duplicated I'm gonna bring her to the side and I'll bring this one here and I'm gonna go up just a tad bit so you can so you guys can see it so you can actually see it um, for this one what I want to do first is I want to go to my offset panel I want to do an offset on her I want to offset and this is too big so I'm gonna go down and I went down to 50. I, dec I decreased the distance to 50. Once I decreased the distance to 50, I'm going to click on the one that's filled and pull her to the side. Next, I'm going to click on the one that isn't filled and I'm going to fill her. We're going to fill her the same color. And we're going to. Um, we're going to fill her the same color and then what we're going to do next is go back to modify panel button and we're going to click subtract so we've subtracted her from here now you're going to go to group and once I've clicked on group she's there so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab this piece, duplicate it, so I don't have to make it all over again. And I'm going to insert her in here. Everything's the same size, so it was easy just to duplicate her. It was easier to duplicate her instead of recreating everything again. Actually, we, we really do need to duplicate her again. I actually need to make her I'm sorry so I'm going to delete this and we're going to go to the bottom which is here and I'm going to go to my modify um, panel and I'm going to crop her group bring her back in And it actually did the same thing. I just thought it wasn't lining up, but it actually is lining up. And so now I'm going to take both of them and bring them so you can see the difference. So you can look at it and see the difference in the both of them. I'm going to decrease the size of this panel. Bring her over. Grab this one and bring her. And then that way you can see both of um both of the designs. And as you can see, we did an offset for this one. And it's pretty much the same thing. And whereas this one, we did not do an offset. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so that you guys can see it fully. So you can fully see it in case my screen isn't big enough. This way, uh, that is how you would make to actually two um how you would actually make two 
two knockout designs. That's showing you both ways of how to make a knockout design. And they both are pretty, they're, they both are pretty. And it's the same thing when you get ready to go to your cut settings, you just go to send and you just cut, you're gonna cut, uh, if you wanna cut by, if you want to cut by um, your lines or whatever, you just check on which one you want to cut, which is if it's the black lines, you're going to cut the black portion and these aren't shedded in. So it would only cut whatever is black. Or if you don't want to cut black and you want to cut red, you would just cut whatever is red and you'd be on your way. And that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed um, my little tutorial please visit my Etsy shop. You may see something there you like. And if you do, please purchase. Also, if you're interested in learning more, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, you can join my Facebook group if you're trying to learn. You can join my Facebook group. It's called All Things Taught Silhouette and Cameo. I have another group that's for beginners, and that one is Silhouette for Beginners. Um, you can also join my digital file group, which is Digital Files Mania, where I sell my designs. And also you can purchase um, from the Etsy shop, but you can on Fridays, you can get free designs or what have you. And thank you guys for joining. And please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a pleasant day. Bye.